Hi everybody! It's Cena again. Um, gosh, I haven't put up a video in like over a week now. Um, I haven't forgotten about you guys. I've been thinking about this and uh, it's just I work so much. I work night shift as a nurse technician and I just, I'm full time so I don't really get a lot of uh, time to monkey around on the computer. <laughs> so uh, today I thought I'd do a little small haul for you guys. I went to my local Walmart here in town and I got a few things and uh, without further ado, oh I would like to uh, do a little shout out here for one of my new friends on YouTube here that is rather new to making videos um, like like myself and that is Barry Juice 13 here on YouTube. Um, I will link her profile in the down bar so you guys ought to check her out um she's got a few good videos up so please check her out um okay but without further ado let's get this roll in here um let's see for just little little things that have nothing to do with makeup but kind of do um I got these two little jars they were 99 cents at Walmart and they're just you know the top screws off. Um, I thought that this would be nice uh, uh, to keep in my in my purse. I'm going to put some moisturizer in one of these little things and keep it in my makeup bag in my purse. So that's what I got those for. And then I got a spray bottle. Um, and to go in here I'm going to put um, just some rubbing alcohol so I can sanitize my makeup and my makeup desk area. So uh, that's what that's for. This was also 99 cents and the alcohol was a dollar, so believe it or not, I didn't have alcohol in my house. Uh, me being a nurse tech, not a, not a RN, I'm a nurse technician, you would think that I'd have everything in my, in my house. I have everything from blood pressure cuffs to stitches, <laughs> so um, did not have rubbing alcohol. Not cool. Anyways, and then I just got some uh, cosmetic wedges sponges um just for whatever use I could find them so I got some of those okay on to the makeup I really can't believe ugh I, I want to tell you how much I spent on all this stuff but I think it's kind of ridiculous but okay for lips I got one thing and it's a uh, Revlon matte lipstick it comes in a little thing like this you see and I've been wanting wanting a Revlon matte lipstick ever since I've been seeing them on YouTube. And this is the color Cocoa Craving. I have this on my lips right now and I have a gloss over it, so that's why it looks kind of shiny. Um, this is what it looks like. Really pretty. I like it. It complements my natural lip color. Okay. Next, uh, for cheeks. Um, I got two things here. I got a CoverGirls Cheeker blush. I like these things. And this is in golden pink. And this is what it looks like. I took the brush out because I don't use the brush. It's kind of useless. But I have this on my cheeks. All of these products that I'm showing you I have on my face except for two. And I'll let you know which ones it isn't. It is. So that's what that looks like. Really, really pretty golden pink. And then I got a bronzer. It's from Rimmel London and it's natural bronzer. And this is the shade Sunlight. This is a matte bronzer, which is, I don't know, really kind of hard to find. Go on, though. My cat was kind of trying to get up here. This is what that looks like. Kind of cool. So I've got that on my cheeks as well. I don't know if you can tell. I tried to do a little contouring quick, but I don't think it turned out so well. Um, I got, let's see, also I got a Revlon Color Stay Brow Enhancer Pencil. That's what that looks like. I've been really, really wanting to try one of these for a long time. I've seen it on somebody's channel. I can't remember who it was. But it's just, uh, on one side it's got the, it's tinted brow wax. And it squeezes up. You just twist it like that. Got a hair on there. And the color is medium brown. Uh, it's the second darkest that I saw at my local Walmart. The darkest one was like medium brown black, and that would be a little bit too dark, I think. 
And then on the other side here, it's got a illuminizer, illuminator, uh, highlighter, <laughs> in other words, and that's it's called soft pink. It just twists up, twists up, twists, twists up. Can't speak. Twists up like so. I have both of these on today, and I'm really liking it. I didn't think I would at first, because I'm not a real brow pencil person, but I have it. I have all of this on my brows today. And they don't look half bad, I don't think. So that was that. And then I got a CoverGirl uh, Perfect Point Plus Eyeliner um, pen Pencil. It's got the smudger on the one end and then the other side twists up like so. This is in black. Black onks. I just ate, I ate some Burger King. It's not a green with me. Ugh. Anyways, I have this on my waterline. I really like this for the waterline because the pencil is um, round and thin enough to where I can get in the waterline really good. Um, this is the first one I've had in a long time. I used to wear this in high school, but ever since then I've been using like liquid liners and gel liners and an occasional pencil on the lower lower lash line. Then I got two uh, Maybelline um, small palettes. They're the Stylish Smokes. And the first one I have here, which I have on my eyes right now, is Plum Smokes. And this is what it looks like. I'll open it up here so you can see what the colors look like. Really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. Um, so that's what I got on right now. And I also like these is because um, they're numbered and they say... Um, this big, this big one here, it's number one, and that's for the base, and then number two is your lid, number three is your crease, and then down here, you can use this as a liner or whatever you want to use, so that's pretty nice that they labeled that for you. And then this one I've been eyeballing for a long time, <laughs> um, it's the Emerald Smokes, that's what that looks like, I haven't opened it yet, but it's got this really pretty green in there, and it's got a, kind of a blackish, color here with um some sparkle to it I don't know if you can see with the glare but that's what that looks like so I'm excited to use that and then um I got the L'Oreal decrease eyeshadow base and a lot of people it's mixed reviews on this stuff whether it works or not I just I just want to see so I got that and then two things that I'm super excited about and I think are going to be in my, one of my favorite videos um, for next month is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Tinted Moisturizer SPF 15. This is the sh darkest shade they have. It's tan, and that's what that looks like. This is I, I really like this. I have it on today, and I, honestly, I'm liking it better than a lot of my foundations. So maybe this will take the place of my foundations because honestly, I don't like wearing foundation. I don't. I don't like messing around. I don't like using my fingers for it because I just I don't like it on my fingertips. So um, and this this doesn't even feel oily, and I have oily skin. I mean, it just sinks right into my pores, and I really like that. So that's that. And then I got the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. And I'm telling you, I really like this stuff already. Um, it's very very thick. This is. This, um, you can cover tattoos with this. It also comes with a little pencil, but I don't have it out here right now. Um, it's a squeezy tube. You get a lot of product. It's going to take a while for me to get through it, but it just squeezes up. And you, it's so thick that you really do, you have to squeeze kind of hard in order to get any of the product out. And this is also in the shade tan. But I have this under my eyes, and I'm telling you, I have not ever, and I haven't tried a lot of concealers out there, but gee whiz, for the price, this is amazing stuff because I have dark, you know, somewhat dark circles and dark spots, kind of purplish spots around my eyes, so I've been looking for a concealer to cover that up, a uh, concealer at the drugstore, that is, and this was $6, and look at how much you get. This is a lot, and, um... Like I said, it is made to you can cover tattoos with this, and I have a couple tattoos, and I'll and I'll try it, and I'll let you know um, uh, my review on this product. But I have it on today under my eyes, 
around my eyes, and I'm, I'm telling you guys, this is some great stuff, I can just tell. Um, I just, it's not creasing, and it's just, feels so smooth, I mean, oh, wow, I'm just really excited about all that stuff, so that's all I got, um, I should probably make a couple more videos here today, whether I will or not, I don't know, <laughs> I do have to work later on, so, um, anyways, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul, and if you guys have any of the, these products that I mentioned, please uh, let me know and let me know what you think about them. And I will see you guys very, very soon. I promise I won't, like, not make a video for, like, a week or so. So I hope you guys have a good day and uh, stay safe and healthy. Bye, guys.